My catalyst is the joy of being curious and to constantly see with the beginner's eyes. I'm a designer and I'm also an educator and I think being an educator always pushes me to want to learn more. I just want to show my daughters and friends if I can do it, anybody can do it. Age is just a number. Social problems will forever evolve. What is the problem today may not be the problem tomorrow. And we need to be relevant, we need to know what's out there. You need to have the right skill sets to do that job. At HP, we strongly believe in our people. When a company invests in its employees, equips them with the right skills, and provides them with development opportunities, they can achieve incredible things. I started teaching since 2009 in Singapore Polytechnic. And being an educator has you know, pushed me to want to also keep learning myself. So when you're teaching, you're like a sponge. You know, you're being squeezed dry, you know, giving your knowledge to your students. And you always feel the need that you have to go somewhere else to, to restock again, to, to learn new things. And that was when I started to go overseas for apprenticeships, to do workshops and started curating my own learning journey. I believe lifelong learning is a marathon. It can be lonely if you do it alone. And that's why it's important for me to find mentors. I think finding a mentor is like standing on the shoulders of giants to see and learn from people who have walked the path before. And having benefited from learning from my mentors and having been guided by them, um, I also try to pass the torch and be a good mentor for my students. And as they grow in their career, sometimes the mentorship also leads to collaboration with my students as we design projects and create installations together. Seeing my students thrive fills me with joy it inspires me to do what I do and continue on this lifelong learning journey. I started my career as a yacht crane operator in Keppel Terminal in 1994. I would spend most of the day up in the crane. I was just focused on getting the job done and it didn't involve much interaction. I started focusing on developing my soft skills a few years ago. This year, I have transitioned from a key crane operator to a supervisory role. I also took on the role as a union leader in the Singapore Port Workers' Union. Many times I have to work with colleagues with different backgrounds, so that is a challenge for me to overcome and try to see things from their perspective. It was a steep learning curve, but with determination and support of my family, I'm able to express myself fluently now, which in turn helped me to better impart my knowledge to other people. My proudest moment came during the TUAS opening ceremony in 2022 when I got to meet then Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long. That was when it really hit me. I had taken a huge step to build a team as one of the pioneer crane operators at TUAS. Embrace the challenge because opportunities often knock once. Trust your instincts and do what you believe is best for yourself. We work with complex cases persons with disabilities, families who are vulnerable and seniors who are aging in place and we need to be ahead of the curve. When a professional is facing a challenge with their clients, we want to encourage them to think of those challenges as opportunities to improve. We have an academy which covers more practical aspects, what you don't usually learn in the institutes of higher learning. When a new staff joins us, they put their theory into practice. They can try out their own problems and solutions. They feel empowered because they continue to empower our own clients. We have our own task forces who explore emerging trends, new technologies. We also have our own maker space, which we call it Lab Integrate. We use assistive technology, such as 3D printed key holders, wheelchair holders, to help our clients be independent and integrated in the community. All these things together makes this organization more of a learning organization. Having mere passion is not enough. You need to have the right skill sets to do that job. And that's why it's so important for us to be a lifelong learner. Growth mindset is central to empowering our people in their learning and leadership journey at HP. This dedication to a growth-oriented mindset is evident in various HP initiatives like the HP Learner Labs program, where we train some of our staff to become facilitators. Being future-ready, both from a company and people standpoint, is important to us. As such, we introduced a AAA framework for our employees to be aware of Industry 4.0 advancement, apply their acquired knowledge in their daily work, and accelerate our teams as well as the industry's growth. 
through impactful projects. As a result, over the past five years, 60% of our operations workforce has been upskilled, elevating their skill sets from manual processes to automation. So HP has always championed the power of an ecosystem and elevating not just ourselves, but bringing everyone along. Through our Queen Bee programs, we've empowered 55 enterprises and reached over 800 learners. It's only through fostering growth and empowering our people with lifelong learning that HP and our staff can continue to grow. So, what's your catalyst?